Today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Visit audible.com slash Freshtopia for a free audiobook. Our viewer Anne asked us if we could conjure up some raw candy. She mentioned that it was something that she sometimes missed, and you know, I do too. If you're looking to lead a healthier lifestyle, or if you just want to have a candy experience that's as satisfying as it is good for your health, or if you're just finding that the sugar shack has left you out in the cold, get ready for Super Candy. Super Candy is the nutrient-rich chimera that is the result of the marriage of rich, delicious candy and health-promoting superfoods. Superfoods are a class of foods that are notable for their exceptional nutrient density. We're talking about your broccoli, your blueberries, and interestingly enough, things like chocolate, as well as a few others you might not have heard of, and we're going to be talking about those today. What I'm about to tell you now is so amazing, so shocking, so unapproved by the FDA. You won't believe that this is going into some candy. The ingredients I have before me right now are all going to be part of what is making these bars so very super. They're going to have great ingredients in them, like walnuts. Walnuts are a wonderful nut. They're a source of that all-important omega-3 fatty acid. Researchers believe that over 60% of Americans are deficient in omega-3 fatty acids, which are important for brain health and all kinds of things. So you definitely want to be getting more in your diet than you personally probably are. Walnuts are a great source of them, as are flax seeds and oil. They're also going to contain maca powder. Maca is made from a tuberous root native to the Peruvian Andes. It's been used for over 5,000 years and is valued because it's an adaptogen. That means that it helps your body cope with stress and boosts your immune system. It's also valued because it helps with energy, stamina, memory, concentration, hormonal regulation, and libido. We also have here some Ho Shu Wu, or Fo Tea, which has been used for centuries in China as an anti-aging and longevity-promoting tonic. It's said to strengthen the kidneys and the liver, and promote feelings of euphoria and well-being. Also, we've got chocolate. Raw chocolate. Superfood or super controversial. Many people adore and revere raw chocolate for its marvelous taste, as well as its purported benefits, claiming that it is one of the densest sources of antioxidants on the whole planet, as well as a host of other exciting and delightful compounds. Others revile it for its caffeine content and all the hype surrounding it. You can learn more about chocolate's history and the chocolate controversy by hitting up the Our Browse Shows page and watching our fifth and sixth episodes where we talk about chocolate and its storied past. It's fun to watch us back in the Wayback Machine when we started doing this all that long year ago. Believe it or not, these exotic ingredients can actually probably be found at your local health food store. If not, they can certainly be purchased through the magic of the internet. And we'll give you some links in our blog post. And these bars are also going to contain cinnamon, a spice that is oh so nice. And you should probably respect it a lot more than you do, because it contains all kinds of health-promoting compounds and does things like reduce inflammation and lower your blood sugar. Blah, 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 nutrition-dee, schmoobition -dee. Let's make some super candy. For Karamaka chocolate super candy, you will need walnut crust, one and a half cups walnuts, one half cup dates chopped, one teaspoon vanilla, dash of sea salt, caramaca layer, one quarter cup unroasted carob, one quarter cup maca powder, three fourth cup agave syrup or honey, two tablespoons cold pressed flax oil, one teaspoon cinnamon, half teaspoon sea salt. For power chocolate layer, one and a half cups raw chocolate powder, one half cup coconut butter, three fourth cup agave syrup, one to two tablespoons heishu wo, add more if you like, one teaspoon vanilla, and a dash of sea salt. Do you remember the worst candy bar you ever had? Author Steve Allman does. For him, the year was 1986. On a perilous bus trip from Istanbul to Izmir, he purchased a candy bar. It tasted like rancid caravan sand and featured a picture of a donkey on the wrapper. 
In his book Candy Freak, Almond writes about the chocolate underbelly of America. You could be enjoying your own chocolate underbelly by visiting audible.com slash freshtopia to get yourself a free audiobook. First the crust. Simply place your walnuts, chopped dates, vanilla, and salt into your food processor and process until it is a nice chunky consistency but hangs together. Then go ahead and press it into your waiting pan. Next, your caramaca. In a bowl, whisk together your carob, maca, agave, flax oil, cinnamon, vanilla, and salt until you have a nice saucy consistency. Then pour it on your nuts. Finally, your chocolate layer. Into your food processor, which is now nice and clean, put your chocolate powder, coconut butter, agave, heishu wu, hosher wu, salt, and vanilla. And blend until it's a nice fudgy consistency, and then spread on your waiting base. Spread your chocolate layer out as simply or ornately as you desire, and when you've got it the way you want it, go ahead and put it in your freezer for at least an hour or so until it's nice and firm, and then you're ready to cut it into bars and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Oh my gosh, you guys. You have got to try these. <laughs> They're just so good. It's like chocolate and walnuts, plus this whole other kind of, I can't stop eating it. This whole other kind of wonderful exotic flavor profile from the, uh, you've got your dates, your spices, your superfoods. And so it tastes both with the, the kind of familiar, rich, wonderful quality that you look for in a candy bar and something wholly other and entirely delightful. I really hope you'll give them a try. They're simple to make and um, as you can see, we're presenting them as kind of a upside down bar. They've kind of flipped over somehow and they're transformation process and um, they're absolutely delightful. Keeper.